Hey guys, what's up? In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make your very own mod menu with Python. So a box, which will be wherever you want on the screen, which will have buttons, text, whatever you want, which if you click, our hacks will activate. Uh, we will also make keybinds and that sort of stuff. Uh, you, and this is the second part for my hacking series. In the first part, we wrote this little code, which gives us as much ammo as we want in Assault Cube. You can use this on any game you want, but you have to follow the first tutorial to understand what it does. If you just want to hack this game, the source code is in the description and you can just copy this code. So before I start the video, uh, thanks a ton for 400 subscribers. I never thought I'd get that many. And also make sure to join the Discord in the description if you have any problems or questions. So let's get into the coding. So create a new file. I'll just call my GUI.py. It doesn't matter where you save it. Uh, open it up with your IDE. It doesn't matter which IDE you use. I'll be using Visual Studio Code. So um, we will be making the GUI with the Kinter and making it a empty window, which we will stick to the screen. So no matter what you open, it will always stay on top. And we will make it. Uh, we will toggle. We will toggle if it's visible or not, so people can open it up if they want to without having to restart the program. So first of all, from Tinker, import everything. Uh, from PyMem, we can import everything as well, and from PyMem.process. Uh, also import. Actually, I think that's all we will need for now. Uh, now what we will do is make a class, which will be the mod menu. Since it's easier to store stuff in classes, if you do not know what a class is, you can still follow along. I won't really explain what they are, but um, it's basically like an object, an easier way to store something. So just follow along. We will create the window, self.win will be tk. Um, we will give the, actually we don't even need to give the window a title because we will hide the title bar. We will make a title later, a custom title bar. Uh, so what we will do is set its dimensions with X height. Make sure to format this like I did with the F in front of the string and the width and height in braces. Uh, what else do we need? We will over Oh, over direct so we can hide the title bar, the minimize, the maximize options like these here in the top corner. Um, and we will also now modify some of the attributes. The first attribute we will modify is to make it stick to the top. And the second uh, attribute we will modify is to give it a transparency to make it look cooler. You don't have to do this. Uh, I think a good transparency is 0 0.7 from what I experimented. Basically, 1 is no transparency and 0 is full transparency. Um, now, at the bottom of the code, make sure it is not in the class. Let's make a variable. Let's call it mod menu. Make sure it's not the same as what you call the this. And it will be equals to mod menu. So what this is, this object, we will be creating an instance of this object. Uh, the window title, I'll just call it Assault Cube Hack. The width and the height, from what I experimented, 350 and 200 are very good. You can make them larger if you want to, or smaller. Um, now, all we need to do is mod menu, the window menu here, GitHub Copilot, and what I want it to do. So, uh, now if we run this, you can see we have a white window at the top of the corner. Here we cannot move it. If we open, for example, Chrome, it will still stay to the top. If I close VS Code, it will still stay to the top. Whatever I do, it will always stay, stay there until I close the program. So now let's make it look a bit nicer before we actually start doing cooler stuff. Um, how to make this? We can set a background color. Before we set a background color, make a new file called settings.py in the same folder as your main file here and call it and uh, in the main file type from settings import star so everything and in the settings file we will just make some variables so bg will be black the background color and the foreground color white 
you can make these whatever you want. You can also use hex codes instead of uh, color names. So now we can configure the window. So the window configure background equals bg. So our bg variable in settings. And now if we run this, you can see the window will be black. Yeah. Uh, now the only thing that is very important is to make the window be centered. I mean, actually, it's not really that important, but it looks nicer. So how to set the coordinates? You basically here in the geometry, uh, in the geometry function, you can add the plus and then the x. So for example, I don't know, 200 plus the y. Again, 200. Like this will make the window be over here. But we want it to be exactly centered on anyone's PC. So it doesn't matter if they have a smaller or a larger monitor. So how we can do this is let's make another another function inside of the class and call it center. It will take the arguments, the width of the of our and of our screen, I mean of our mod menu and the height of our mod menu. In this center function, uh, we will be finding out first of all the uh, dimensions of the screen. So this is how uh the width of the monitor and this is the height of the monitor and we will be calculating the center coordinates so x the x coordinate will be the width divided by 2 the width of our no i mean the the um, screen width divided by 2 minus the width of our mod menu divided by 2 and the y will be the same but with height yep github copilot is very good and now return x and y like this. So now we can make our coordinates here. x, y will be equal to self dot center with height as params. And here just put plus and then in braces x plus in braces y. So uh, wait, oh so basically this will return floats. We need to convert them to int. So put int x and int y. Now run this, and our window is centered perfectly, and everything is working. So now, now that we have all this done, let's make some GUI elements. So a label, which would be the title, some buttons, that sort of stuff. So we can just put this in the init function. It doesn't really matter. You can make another function and call it. And what we will do is first make the title label, title label, which will be a label. I have a tutorial about the Kinter, link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but you can just follow along if you do not know how to use the Kinter, it's very easy. So the label will be on the screen on our window, self.win. The text will be our window title, which we've passed in here, which is a salt cube hat. Uh, let's set it a font, which I'll uh, just make it be Arial and the size 12. Then set the background color and the foreground. And now, don't forget, we have to actually place it on the screen. So self dot title label dot tag. This will just place it at the top. If you want to place uh, elements with x and y coordinates, I will show you in a minute when we create our button how to do that. So now let's create a close button which will uh, exit the mod menu. So uh, self dot exit button will be a button on the window with the text exit and the font same as the label a background foreground and the command will be self.win.destroy since we will be destroying our window and this will automatically exit the the app the program so now instead of packing it, which will just make it be under the title label let's place it with custom coordinates so you can just use dot place instead of pack and pass in the arguments x equals whatever you want x to be and y equals whatever you want y to be. So x for the x, I think, since we made it the 350, uh, maybe in the corner or in the middle. Um, yeah, I think like 300. I mean, uh, 170. And the y somewhere lower because we want it to be at the bottom of our screen so 150. let's try this okay run it and yep you can see it. we have our mod menu here i can close vs code so you can see it better we have our exit button it doesn't really look very 
upgraded, but whatever. And if you click it, the program exits. So this is good enough. You can play around with it and make it look better if you want to. Uh, actually, I think I'll make the font a bit bigger. Let's see, like this. Uh, that too big. Yeah, this is good enough. And move it a bit like that. Anyway, you can play around with this, make it look better. Uh, I'll just continue. So now let's make a button, which if we click, will give us 1000 ammo. So an actual hack. So let's just call this the ammo BTN. It will again be a button. We can actually just copy this and paste it. But the text will be ammo hack and the command will be a function i mean this is also a function yeah, but it will be a custom function so in the mod menu let's create a new function call it ammo hack make sure it is inside of the function and pass in self that's the only thing we need and here the command will be equal to self dot ammo hack and make sure this is very important do not add the two uh, the two parentheses at the end like you do when you call a normal function in Python. Do not add them, otherwise it will not work. So what will happen in the ammo hack? If you remember in the last tutorial, we already made an ammo hack, so we will just use this code. So just copy this at the big, the first code here and just put it at the top. Uh, and rename the offsets list to be ammo offsets. Since later we might make other uh, hacks which we need other offices like uh, health, uh, aimbot, teleport, and all that sort of stuff. And also copy this function and put it under. And last but not least, the code which actually creates our ammo. So just put that put in the ammo hack. And instead of offsets, put ammo offsets, like because we renamed this. So now let's uh, actually I forgot to pack the button so I put ammo btn pack and now let's open up a salt cube otherwise we will get an error that a salt cube is not open and you can see I have twenty ammo I'm just you know chilling here and now let's run our program so now that I ran it I can alt tab into a salt cube or just actually open from here and you can see our program is here if I click ammo hack wait, let me click it. Yeah, we got 1,000 ammo. But the only problem is we actually can't aim. You, you can see it's very glitchy. I mean, if you're trying this right now, but you can also see on my screen how glitchy it is. This is because a salt cube doesn't let you use like a normal mouse. So we actually need to make a function, a method to hide this window and then open it again. So let's do that right now. This will actually be a bit more complicated, especially for beginners since we will have to use threading because this mod menu dot win dot main loop is basically just a while true loop which keeps our window open so we can whatever code we put down here if we put a while loop to check for key presses it will not run because this is already running or if we put a while loop here at the top it will just block the whole code so basically what we need to do is use threading so basically make something a while loop which will run in the background of our program so let's import keyboard first of all import keyboard as kb and from threading import thread also import from time uh, import sleep you will see why we need this in a minute now let's actually make our function so make sure it's not in the class first of all so outside of the class preferably at the bottom and just call it whatever you want. I'll just call it background. Or actually, I'll call it uh, keybinds, since we will use this to manage keybinds and stuff. The only argument it's ne it needs is mod menu, which is this variable over here. So now, what we will do in here is have a while loop, which will check if keyboard.is pressed. And our shortcut, let's actually make a variable in the settings file. Uh, open variable which will be f1 you can make it be whatever you want but make sure it's a key on your keyboard if key that is pressed open uh now here first of all we have to check if the window is first of all open or closed so uh right above the while loop make a variable called is open and make it be true because the window 
the, the hack one when you will start open. So here at if is open is true, then we will be uh, hiding the window. So mod menu dot win dot withdraw. This is a function which you can use to hide the window without destroying it. And make is open equals false. And else, if is open is false, so if we need to open the window, then mod menu dot win dot deiconify. This is another function with, with which you can bring the window back and set is open to true. Now, if we run this, nothing will happen because we haven't actually created our thread. This function just exists, but no one is calling it. So under the mod menu, but make sure it is above the win.main loop. Create this variable, keybind thread, which will be equals to thread. The target will be our function keybinds, which is this function. And the args, will be equal to mod menu and make sure you add a comma at the end. That's very important. Then set the keybinds thread dot Damien dot set Damien to be true. Make sure you add this. So it closes when we close our program. Otherwise this word for infinity cause many errors and stuff. And lastly but not least, keybinds thread dot art. Now if we run this oh wait I need to open a salt cube. Now, if we run this, um, F5, yes. Uh, and let's go in, just go into a salt cube. And if I click F1, wait. Yeah, the window disappeared. But you can see that if I click it, like it glitches kind of. Like sometimes it doesn't close, sometimes it doesn't open, like very glitchy. That is because uh, this is checked for every millisecond. So if you press F, if you hold F1 for like two seconds, it will just constantly open and close it. So what we can do is just add a sleep half a second. So it will just wait for half a second. So there will be half a second delay in between opening and closing it. This is why we need it, uh, the sleep from that. So now just click F1 and it closes. And if I click it again, it should open. And it did open. Now if we click ammo half, you can see that if I first time I clicked it, my mouse just teleported all the way to this side of the screen, which is very weird. And if I click it again, it should work, yeah. So how to fix this issue? Um, we can set the focus on the window when we open it again. So when we open the window, uh, mod menu dot win dot force focus. So now let's run this, go into a stock, close it. And now if we open it again, and now we click ammo hack, now, I think we just got an error. Uh, has no attribute. Okay. So, um, what was it called again? Uh, modding the win. Dot oh, I think it was focus force. Okay, my bad. Anyway, uh, I just you can also close it when you're not in a socket. You can just click F1 anytime. Now, if I click F1 again, it opened, and if I click ammo hack, it worked first try. So no need, no need for a mouse to teleport all the way over to that side of the screen. So now that we have all of this ready, you can also add other keybinds here. Uh, like if, for example, if key KB that is pressed uh, F2 or escape, then it closes the whole program or whatever you want. Uh, now that we have this ready, this is about everything that you need. You can modify with it, play with it, you can add whatever else you want, everything will work. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. I'll be making more of these type of videos and continuing the hacking series. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, like the video, subscribe, dislike the video. I, mean, I won't even see the dislikes because the dislike button is doesn't even work. So, <laughs> GG. Anyway, uh, see everyone, goodbye.